When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. Previously on Sailing Catalpa. We show you our water maker that we chose to buy and how to use it. It was another epic day at Lady Musgrave. So we grabbed all our dive gear, Paul and Lisa came with us and we went out to the southeast side of the island where neither of us had dived before, hoping to find a dive site. But we kept looking over the side of our tenders with our snorkels and didn't find anything too interesting so we had a new plan. It was such an epic day that we thought we could adventure across to the Fairfax Islands. The Fairfax Islands were four nautical miles away from Lady Musgrave and off we went. Kids jumped, jumped in with Paul and Lisa. They've got a bigger tender and a bigger motor so we could get up on the plane with all our dive gear. We arrived over there in about 10, 15 minutes and it was absolutely stunning. The coral was beautiful and alive and the water clarity was unbelievable. Fairfax Islands is a pair of small coral caves, both of which have been used as a bombing range. They are located near the Tropic of Capricorn in the Great Barrier Reef. The island is the third island in the Great Barrier Reef chain of islands. East and west, west Fairfax Islands were used as a bombing range by the Royal Australian Air Force and Royal Australian Navy. This seized over 40 years ago and the vegetation of these two coral caves has largely recovered. The reef surrounding the two islands is a marine reserve, meaning you can't fish here, and it shows we saw heaps of healthy coral and marine life on our dives. This was Paul and Lisa's last day at Lady Musgrave Lagoon as they were heading south. We were so happy that we met you guys. You are a massive inspiration. And hearing your stories of your travels around the world has got us so excited about our journey ahead. Thank you so much for sharing your secret dive spots at Lady Musgrave and all of your knowledge and adventures. We loved hearing it and we loved hanging out with you guys. We hope our paths cross again and we hope we can dive with you some more. Until next time. So it's Monday morning yesterday. We thought it was beautiful. We did. We had an awesome day and then woke up this morning and it's even less wind. It's magical. 
This is Yacht Lorelei with Paul and Lisa as they head out of the lagoon. Bye guys. So what we're going to do I think is go across to Fairfax again. Oh, all my undies. So we went over to the boat next door. They had a family so we asked them if they wanted to go to the Fairfax Islands with us for a dive. I jumped in their boat and off we went. We take our last breath, we should see everything we are. We are the best, the best. And you're all beautiful, so beautiful, yeah. It's all so obvious to me. You are important, you are so special. And amazing diving and a bit of exploring and another great day out on the reef. Boys going fishing, hopefully coming back with some fish for dinner. So this is our last night at Lady Musgrave, we're leaving tomorrow and we're going to head in towards uh, Pancake Creek and then sit out some bad weather and then head back out to Fitzroy Reef and then up through the islands. That's the plan anyway. It was a beautiful day today and it's supposed to be I think 10 to 15 knots tomorrow but Wednesday strong winds come in so we're going to go sit somewhere a little protected and do a few jobs and then head back out to the reef. Boys are back from their fishing and apparently have caught some fish. So just waiting to see what they've caught. What did you catch Tashi? Those. Oh, what's that? It's alive! It's a slot emperor. Red throat emperor. Why do you hold it up? That's why, That's my catch, that one. Well, hold it up, your catch. Yeah, that's one I, no, caught. I caught that one. That was on the bottom near mine, don't you lie. No, that was the bottom, that was the big emperor. No, I caught the big emperor. The big one. Uh, that we'll one. just give these he's two a minute. They're fighting the over who I they can call. He's trying to claim my fish. Because I got the biggest one. That was my big one that I caught up to you with. Oh, well, at least give me credit when you've got one of these. <laughs> oh. We had, uh, they took the GoPro, but it, the card was full. Our usual trick, so they didn't get any footage of them fishing, but... This one took Taj and nearly pulled him in the water, this one here. <laughs> but we got a good mix. We got some, it was an hour's work, and we got some red throat emperor and some nice reefies. Got a few... We've got a mixed jar. We've got this fella here. Oh. What is that? We've got a little tusky down the bottom. Uh, it looks like a... I won't film too much of it because I don't like watching it and I know there's viewers that don't like watching it. But these are all the fish laid out. Can you put your light on there, darling? Love the spangled emperor, beautiful. Red throat emperor, I think. Top is nearly ready to sail. Everyone's heading out of the lagoon. There's only a few boats left and most people are leaving. So our friends behind us here are actually hauling out their boat tomorrow. They're going into Bundaberg and then they're flying back to Canada. So it was really nice to meet those guys. We're just going in to sit out the bad weather, then we're going to be back out the reef, so I'm not sad this time. It's still sad leaving Lady Musgrave, but knowing that I'll be back out 
in a few days or a week or so. I'm okay with that. How you feel about it, honey? Uh, I'll be able to get some jobs done on the boat. I had a whole list and I've done no jobs on the boat. So he had this theory that we were going to come out to Lady Musgrave and he was going to get all these things done, but... But dive and play and fishing and meeting new people. <laughs> you're way too busy when you're out here to do jobs. <laughs> so we're going to go into somewhere that's not so distracting. <laughs> We get a few days of bad weather and I'll do the jobs with the bad weather. We can't do all the jobs with the bad weather. No. So we oh, need. Yeah, these lazy jacks on. Need no okay. rain. I've got all the stuff there. Ooh. We'll get there. Ah. We'll get there. So we've secured it all down below. We're getting sail cover off and all the ropes out so we can head off. We've got good winds, I think it's 10 to 15 knots today. And then tomorrow it's supposed to pick up to like 20 to 30 knots, so that's why we wanted to get in before that happens. One thing we run out of pretty quick on Catalpa is our greens. And uh, we bought a little micro herbs or a sprout growing trays and we're growing our own sprouts. So we've got some sunflower sprouts. Um, I think these are broccoli alfalfa. They're a bit slower than everything else, but uh, I can't remember what these ones are. <laughs> and these ones are alfalfa. But they're going really well. It's really easy and they're pretty quick. I mean, we only did these, I think we put them in three days ago. And you just keep them wet. And, um... Don't try and hide it, or try and bite it. Just take my hand and we'll bite the lightning and Some of the things you find don't look good for me I use my tears to plant a tree Close your eyes And fall back as we may Don't be shy got over 25 knots now just to give you a perspective of the angle it's probably like that the little micro herbs have sort of the only things that have stayed on the benches we've got stuff falling off everywhere we're healing right over I'm just about to go up and put another reef in I think and see the uh, windows are going well underwater here we're on our way to pancake can see we're flying along. Wow! It's uh, oh, I can barely stand up in here. In your grainy bitches ring the wall. In your grainy bitches and I In your grainy bitches ring the wall. So on our way to Pancake Creek, got about, we're getting up to 20 knots now, I've got the first reef in, we're getting a few waves over the front, a little bit of swell, I think it was a good decision leaving Lady Musgrave and um, heading for a little bit of cover over the next few days, because the weather's a little bit unstable, 
and uh, hopefully it should start to flatten out as we get in a little bit closer. Probably only got about 10 nautical miles to go and she's starting to get up around gusts over 20 so I may have to get up and put another reef in yet, I'm not sure. Let's see how we go. Join us next time as we head into Pancake Creek to get out of some bad weather and to get some jobs done. Tell me, brother, hear what I say. There's a sin.